Faith Church family and everyone that's watching, thank you so much for tuning in for our Impact Youth segment. This is an opportunity that we have to share a devotional with all of our students, fifth through 12th grade, and we are honored to have you with us. We trust that the Lord has already ministered to you and your family, and so we're thankful. I'm thankful that you've stuck around. As we jump into our devotional, I have been studying the book of Joshua and my personal study. And I came across something that I felt uh, the Lord wanted me to share with you today from chapter four. So let's read it. In Joshua chapter four, uh, beginning with verse one from the New Living Translation, listen to what this says. When all the people had crossed the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, now choose 12 men, one from each tribe. Tell them, take 12 stones from from every place where the priests are standing in the middle of the Jordan. Carry them out and pile them up at the place where you will camp tonight. Verse four, so Joshua called together the 12 men he had chosen, one from each of the tribes of Israel. He told them, go into the middle of the Jordan in front of the ark of the Lord your God. Each of you must pick up one stone and carry it out on your shoulder, 12 stones in all, one for each of the 12 tribes of Israel. We will use these stones to build a memorial. Come on, somebody. In the future, your children will ask you, what do these stones mean? Then you can tell them, they remind us that the Jordan River stopped flowing when the Ark of the Lord's Covenant went across. These stones will stand as a memorial among the people of Israel forever. I wanna to talk to you guys just briefly about setting up memorials in your life. Or another way that I could say it is a book of remembrance. I wanna challenge you guys, if you have a journal or if you've never journaled before, or if you have a little notebook or even in your phone on notes, I want you to begin to write down the victories that God accomplishes in your life. You see, Joshua, he was the successor of Moses. Moses was not permitted to enter the promised land after bringing the children of Israel out of Egyptian bondage. And the reason he could not enter was because of his disobedience unto the Lord. He was able to see it from afar off, but he couldn't enter in. And so he asked the Lord, who shall lead these people? Who shall shepherd them? And God spoke to him and told him that I want you to raise up Joshua. And so Joshua was given this task to lead the children of Israel into the promised land. But before they got to the promised land, they had to cross the Jordan River. And something similar happened to Moses when he crossed the Red Sea. But in this example, or in this occurrence, Joshua crossed the Jordan River and the priests were carrying what was called the Ark of the Covenant. This was symbolic of God's presence being with them. And when they went into the Jordan River, the waters stopped flowing and they were able to cross on dry ground. But when they came out of this experience, when they came over to the other side, God commanded Joshua to take stones from the Jordan River so that when their children, when the Israelites' children and future generations would ask, what do these stones mean? They could testify about the Lord's goodness. I wanna challenge you, young person. I know that even though you're young, there are victories that the Lord has accomplished in your life, if you think about it. I want you to begin to write down those testimonies, those, those victories, no matter how big or how small they are, God wants you to set those up for memorials so that in the time to come, when you're going through difficulty, when you're going through challenges in your life, you can refer back to this as a reservoir of faith to draw from. Set it up and watch God move miraculously in your life in the future. We love you and we hope to see you soon. Be blessed.